Welcome aboard the brand new 78 motor yacht from Riviera. She's the jewel in the crown at Riviera Motor Yachts. This yacht was debuted at the 2022 Sanctuary Cove Boat Show in the spring, and it coincided with the 10 year anniversary of Rodney Longhurst's ownership of this Australian iconic brand. So the Riviera Design Group, in collaboration with super yacht designer Luca Vellabona, created a sophisticated vessel. The Australian and Italian cultures are blended together to create a yacht that balances interior space and contact with the sea. One of the most special areas on the boat is this aft platform. Of course, it articulates down, super safe, so you can relax and have a cocktail in the water, ease in and off the boat with your scuba gear, but the stairs are as wide as the platform, which really makes it super safe and very unique. It doubles as a passerelle because it rises up. Pretty cool. So as we move forward from the platform, look at this massive garage storage area. Tons of space, great teak covered stairs to get down there. So it's nice, easy access for you. So as you step aboard the cockpit area, you can arrive from both the port and starboard side. There's this port side docking station. Then we have a beautiful aft couch along the back. We have an L-shaped settee with a couple of chairs. It's just ready for alfresco dining. And of course, anything that you can need while you're out here, like a cool beverage or something to eat, is easily accessible for the summer kitchen on the port side. You really get a sense of volume and space because the size of the windows, 360 degrees of view, a lot of light comes in here naturally. Of course, this is where we're gonna entertain. A nice L-shaped couch, a comfortable sitting area, and over on the port side, there's another small sofa. As we move forward, there's a wet bar, wine bar area. Of course, while we're on our way, we wanna get a nice little cocktail. Now, while you're underway or on passage, you need sufficient storage. And of course, all those provisions need to be taken care of as well. And you have everything you need right here on the starboard side galley. So we have a refrigerator freezer combination and more storage here and the latest melee appliances to take care of all the chef's needs. So this beautiful vessel is equipped with C-Zone. So we have a station right here on the main deck, also one up at the helm. You can control all your pumps, start the engines, control your lighting, sound, whatever you need to do, you can control it right here. And this beautiful logo right here, guess what? It's also a charging station. What a beautiful area that Riviera has created right up here in the bow. It is a sunken settee area. So it has dual purpose. We can get about 12 people up here, nice table, relax in the sun, get the rays, very comfortable. Then we can cover this all up and we have a Davit crane and we can either put a tender up here or you might even put a jet ski right up here in the bow. So as we come up from the side decks, we have access to the sunken bow area right through a cut in right here. And then everywhere you look in the bow, there's just plenty of storage as well. Now here we are in the bridge decked aft, and this is where we're really gonna hang out, whether it be during the day or at night. You get a great view up here. We have a nice little wet bar with everything you could possibly need, a nice little settee area. And we also have a nice surprise up here and that is a day head up here on the flybridge. It's almost like a loft apartment. Hey, while you're underway, you don't have all your needs taken care of. You don't even need to go down below. We have seamless transition from indoor to outdoor living at a press of a button. The electrically actuated doors open up the outdoors to inside and we can get that fresh breeze and everybody inside can be in contact with the sea. So when we talk about Riviera luxury motor yachts, we talk about superior components, and that includes this beautiful Caesar stone all over the vessel, and of course the joinery and the wood grain just pops wherever you look here. So here we are in the bridge deck salon area, and we have great lighting. Of course we have a wet bar area, we have our helm, and then on the starboard side we have a nice little L-shaped couch, 
very well detailed. How about this amazing helm? You have that super yacht vibe and feel right up here, a sense of space. Of course, navigation is right on the center line, four massive Garmin displays. We also have two other points of navigation, uh, one on the aft cockpit below and then right outside on the upper flybridge cockpit as well. So this Riviera 78 motor yacht has a beam of 19 feet, eight inches long. It's got a length overall of 81 feet, five inches long, and it's got twin V12 man, 2000 horsepower engines to push it along. It also has a fuel capacity of 2,695 gallons of fuel. How about this beautiful atrium style staircase headed below? You can find all of our guest quarters forward and the primary suite aft. Wow, do I really feel special as a VIP up here in the bow. We have a full ensuite bathroom, separate shower, and I'm telling you right now, the owners are very well taken care of, but so are your VIPs with a full closet. Look at the space, look at the lights, look at the glass. Here we are in the port side guest cabin. So we have twin beds, which convert together to a single bed. And of course, it all has the fine details that all the rest of the boat has. And we have a shared day head that's more than that because it's a full ensuite with a separate shower. Beautiful. So the starboard side guest cabin is on point as well, and it's in a bunk setup. So here we are in the full beam master suite, and you really get a sense of volume, space, and light in here. It takes full advantage of that full beam. So when you're at sea, you can do work right here at this massive work desk, but I don't know why you'd want to work while you're at sea. But at the same time, uh, you can get ready for the day right here at this beautiful makeup station. And we have a full walk-in closet as well on the starboard side. Then as we step into the full ensuite, what you're going to notice is twin basin, separate shower, separate head, and privacy for everybody. But really, you're going to feel right at home when on the water. And here we have access to the crew quarters. So the crew quarters is where you're going to find the washer dryer. And this one comes in a single bunk, but you can get it in a double one as well. So she's tricked out with Humphrey zero speed stabilization fins on the bottom to give it a nice smooth ride while underway. So we have nice rolling seas today, comfortable ride. So let's get her up on plane and see how she does. So we're about 18 knots right now. And we're about 2000 RPMs. Nice and smooth. You can see the rollers in here today. This big, robust hull built for the South Pacific handles this like nothing. It really dampens the ride. Super comfortable. Great visibility with the helm being right on the center line as well. So now we're going to push it up a little bit. So now we're cruising probably about 27, 28, we're in that 2,500 RPM range. Now we're going about 30. So now we're going about 34 knots right now. We're about 208 gallons per hour. And you can really feel those stabilization fins from Humphrey really smooth out the ride as well. So right now we're flat out at about 33 knots, but really the sweet spot is right around 26 knots. It's going to get you great cruising performance, going to feel like you're running 10 knots, and for a yacht of this side, smooth as silk. So this 78 Riviera motor yacht really handled like a dream. You could absolutely see it. That stabilization is definitely on point. And what she realizes is there's a reason why 58 
boats have been sold over the last 40 years, it's the quality craftsmanship. But more important, it's the performance in blue water conditions. She's a beauty.